So the microscope, this part is called the eyepiece. You put your eyes through it to look, uh, to look at, uh, at the cells, for example. Then you have three lenses here, three magnifying lenses. They are called the objective lens. Objective lens one, two, three. What does the objective lens do? They could be three um, or four. Yes, are you asking me or are you like explaining? Yeah, do you know? Do you know? I think so. Yeah, tell me. I think the objective lens um it may it like makes it clearer and it makes it uh it magnifies the uh object that you're trying to see. Exactly, bravo, bravo Diana. So they have a different range of magnifications. So you have three, some microscopes have three, and others have four objective lenses. Each one of them has, look here, this says 10, this says 4, it's written on it 4, this, is, this one is written on it 10, this one is written on it 40. So what does these numbers mean? It means that each one of them has a different magnification power. The first one that has 4, it means that it makes the... Uh, the sample four times bigger than its real size. The other one that has 10, it means that it magnifies your sample 10 times bigger than its real size. And the other one with 40, it magnifies it 40 times bigger. So the objective lens, each one has a magnification power, a different magnification power. And what do they do? They magnify the sample. All right, this is, of course, the arm of the microscope. It supports and connects the eyepiece lens to the base. And also you can, you can use it to, to carry the microscope. We carry it from the, from the arm. Next, Gianna, do you see this black part? This is called the stage. Do you know yeah. what the stage, yeah, the job of the stage, what does it do or use to for? Um, I think I'm not sure of my answer, but I think like you put like the um the, like the thing you're trying to see on the uh stage. Exactly, exactly. You put the thing you're trying to see on the stage. Uh, the thing that you're trying to see is called your sample. What do you put it in, or what do you put it on? You're gonna you put, put it. You put it on. On the slide, on a glass slide. Yeah. Yeah. In the lab, we have a, you have a lot of glass slides. Okay, it's a piece of glass, a rectangular piece of glass. It's called a slide, microscopic slide. So you put the sample on it, or what we call the specimen, the thing that you try to 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 see under the microscope. We call it specimen, Diana. Specimen. This is what you see under the microscope. So you put it on the slide and then put the slide on the stage. All right. How will you be able to see the specimen? There must be a source of light that shines on the specimen from underneath. This is why here we have a lamp. This is your source of light. When you connect the, uh, the, when you put the microscope connected to, to the, the, the electric supply, the main supply, the lamp will start to work. It will be turned on to start to work and it will produce light or shines light on the specimen. Time. Some microscopes, Gianna, they don't have light. Instead, they have a mirror. Do you have any idea how the light will get from the mirror to the specimen? What will the mirror do? They do not have a lamp. Instead, they have a mirror. Yes, I'm, not, I'm also not sure if this answer, but I think it will like, reflect uh, the thing you're trying to see. Exactly. The mirror will reflect light coming from the sun and shines it. On the specimen, bravo. If, uh, the, 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 the microscopes, they either use a source of light, like a lamp, or they have mirrors. They reflect 